Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Monkey Putter with another course review from PGA Tour 2K23. Now the course I'm going to be playing today is called La Quinta Dunas, designed by Alan WE54. Now the course defaults are firm fairways, firm greens, the green speed is medium, the weather is clear and the time of day is dawn. So with that in mind, my course setup for this round, I've decided to choose the gold tees. As you can see, the distance is the same for all four tee sets, but I'm going to take a gamble. I've never played the course before, so I'm going to choose the gold ones and see what, they, what they're like. Pin position one, I've set the wind speed to medium. I've set the time of day to morning, but everything else I've left on the default. So let's head off to that first tee and we'll get this round underway. Now then, opening hole, par four, 456 yards. We've got a fairway bunker and you can see there that the fairway slopes left to right down towards that bunker. So it's a tough opening drive. That is almost certainly in the bunker. Yep, that's going to be difficult to get on the green from there. Is it going to stop rolling? What's the lie like? Ooh, not great. Ooh, 38, that's going to be, we'll call it 13, that's 155. I'm not sure I'm going to get this up. I'm going to go with the... No, I'm going to go with a 6 iron, I think. Increase the loft a bit. Okay, well, I've managed to get it onto the putting surface. Oh, I've hit it too hard. Not bad line. That's a fairly solid par though, despite the uh, slight hiccup with the drive. Now par three at the second. Uphills, it's going to be playing about 160. Little bit of hurt in that wind. I'm going to go with the 8 iron. That's going to run off the back edge, unfortunately. Slow down. Mm, bit heavy handed with that one. That's a good par save though. Now we I can see there we've got a couple of par fives to come on this front nine. And this is the first one of those. Five ninety two. Safely on the fairway. 276. I'm not sure I can quite reach this one. That's 
It's looking good, but I don't think it's got the legs. No, stay on the fairway. Oh, it's gone into the thick stuff again. So I had that bunker on the first hole with a bad line. Now I'm in thick rough. 61 to 71% lie. Oh, slow down. That's a pretty good chip, really, from there. Got this for birdie. That gets me under par for the round. Four ninety six. This is a tough par four. That's about a hundred and eighty yards to go. I'm not sure I could do with you can see there there's that big slope in the middle of the green do with getting up above that if I can let's go with the six iron but increase the loft a little bit although I am on an uphill lie oh, I think it's slow anyway it should get there yes it is it's on the same level as the the flag I'm only nine feet away, but it's quite a bit of break on this. Yeah, well hold. That's a good birdie. Now then, this is a sharp dog leg left. 370 yards on the card, but it's going to be playing considerably longer than that. Hit it slow, that's a shame. That's... Oh my goodness me, that's going to leave a long second. 100 and... About 130 yards, roughly. Steep up slope. Get down, get down. Ooh, just a fraction long. Ah, oh, that's a great putt. Now here's the other par 5 that I mentioned. Now that fairway slopes really steeply away from the drive direction so not an easy one this. Back into the breeze as well. Go on, get down the bottom. Get down the bottom. Uh, that's not too bad. The ball is above my feet. But it could have been worse if it stopped on the uh, on that slope. Now, 240, but it's 43 uphill. That's roughly 14 or 15, I guess. Let's go with the three wood. Oh no. Oh, that might be lucky actually. 
There's a slope there that might help. Here she comes. Ooh, I could do with it stopping. Yeah, not a great swing. Never mind. Par 5. This is an outside chance of an eagle. It's tracking well. It's not going to reach though. That's a shame. Good birdie though. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Now then. Huge green here. It looks like it might be a double green. Shared with another hole. I can see a flag there. And it, I just haven't got a swing at the moment. Hopefully it will come back. It needs to slow down. Nope, that's missed. Oh my goodness me, that was a terrible putt. And that's a three putt bogey, that's really poor. Right, eighth hole, I'm going to lay up here I think. A driver's going to put me in that bunker. Let's drop back down to a three wood. Although I'm still a bit nervous about hitting that bunker, I must be honest. Well, that should be fine. Bit of a slope there that might come in really handy. Put some backspin on this. Ah, the wind is behind. Need to be careful here. Oh, it didn't spin back at all. Oh, look at the break on this one. A couple of inches downhill as well. Let's put the flag in. I've over borrowed it. Maybe hit it a little bit too firm. Now the fourth hole. Sorry, the ninth hole, par four, I do apologise. Quite a narrow fairway. Ah, pushed it. Got away with it. Swing plane was off. Uh, ball below my feet here. Get down, get down. That's not bad. It's a good birdie opportunity coming up. Oh, another. You don't get many flat putts on this course, that's for sure. Oh, 
Yeah, good pat. Nice birdie. Now then, we're going to start the back nine with a par four, 360 yards. I can't drive it. The important thing is I must hit the fairway. Okay, job done. Slightly uphill, so it's going to be playing about 58 yards. We'll get down. Quite a long par three here, 230 yards. It's downhill. The wind is helping. And these are firm greens as well. So I'm going to try the four iron here, I think. That's gone too far right. It might come off the slope a little bit. Yeah, not enough. Look at this, another breaking putt. I'm leaving myself in the wrong place on the greens. Oh, overborrowed another one. Not too disappointed with a but with a par there because it wasn't the easiest of par threes. Now this one here, I wonder if I can go up the left hand side. If I can get the drive around here, you can see there it's a nice line in for the second shot. But this is uphill, I'm not sure I can get that far. Might be safer to hit the three wood around there I think I will just try and hit the fairway not an easy drive this one hundred and forty three uphill it's about hundred and forty eight and 48 let's go with the nine iron but increase the loft a little bit below my feet kick left kick left oh it did as well what a lovely little bounce Well, this I think is my first straight putt, so I better not miss this. That's a relief. <laughs> that would have been really embarrassing if I'd missed my first straight putt of the round. Now, 13th hole. It's a long par four, 485 yards. Downhill a bit. I took a big bounce to the left. That's going to leave a longer second shot than I would have liked. 
about 155. Go with a 9 iron. Now then, I'm on a steep slope here. I'm wondering if it's worth clubbing up a bit because of that steep slope. And maybe increase the loft just a little bit. Pushed it a fraction. Come round. Yeah, it's a bit long as well. Uh, managed to stay on the green. Hold your line, it's looking good. Oh my goodness me, that was close. Now we've got a par 5 coming up at the 14th. 516, so as, as par 5s go, it's relatively short. Slightly uphill though. Got to hit that fairway. That's uh, up here. That's going to be approximately 225. I'm going to go with a three iron here. Ball above my feet. I've hit it slow, you muppet. Ah, oh, you total pillock. Yeah, that's in the heavy rough. Oh, such an idiot. Now, this is a very difficult shot. It's difficult enough to get it on the putting surface, but to get it close to the hole to make birdie is really tough. 70 to 80% lie. I'm on a bank as well. Let's try this. Get up. Go on. Oh, that's looking good. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Get in, get in. Yes! Oh, what a chip. At one point, I was worried about making par, and I've ended up with an eagle. Great chip. Fifteenth uh, hole. It's a nice dog leg. I like that. You're hitting over that corner there with your second shot, potentially. It's quite a narrow fairway as well. with a little bounce to the right but I think it's fine yeah absolutely fine 82 yards to go not much green to work with it's a small target and you, if you look on the back of the green you've got that runoff area as well you can't afford to go long here I might try something here might club up go to a gap wedge Increase the loft a little bit and give it a little bit of backspin as well because I don't want this one to release forward much at all. That needs to sit down. Bite spin as well. Well, and it stopped. That's the main thing.
Oh, it didn't take the break. Oh, that's a really bad miss. That's the thing with the slower greens. These are medium green speeds, and I'm used to playing fast greens. So when the greens are slower, they don't take quite so much break. And it caught me out there. That's a shame. Par 3, 16th. Looks like another double green. Ah, this is the... This was the double green I mentioned earlier. Yeah, that's right. And I think this is where... Did I three-putt that one earlier for bogey? I can't remember. Anyway, that's in the past. The important thing is now that we hit this green and hopefully walk away with no more than a par. I'm not sure. I know the wind is behind, but I'm not sure... If I can give this 101 or 102%, that should reach. Oh, the wind is moving around. Ah, it's a real shame. I was relying on the wind to get me there. I'm going to club back up again. That's a little bit left. Oh, I'm glad I clubbed up, though. Stay up, please stay up. Yes, it did. Now then, not an easy putt, but it is a birdie opportunity. Oh, so close. I may have pulled it just a fraction. You saw my swing plane there. It's a solid par though. Yeah, the seventh hole. I think uh, I think that green is shared with the seventh. Now that's a good drive. It's on the left-hand side of the fairway and with a pin on the right-hand side of the green. It's a pretty good line in. Uphill, playing about 109. I know exactly what club I'm hitting here. Sand wedge, but with a wind behind, I might give it a little bit of extra loft, but not a lot. Ball above my feet. I've pushed it right. Please stay on the green. If that goes down that bank, I'm in trouble. Okay, well, it did stop. But that's a poor swing. Ooh, these little chips are tricky. I'm going to maximise the loft and the spin on this. Yeah, kind of chicken out on that one a little bit. I didn't want to be too aggressive and then the ball runs 12 or 14 feet past. Now then the final hole, par 5. 553. As always, I need to hit that fairway. That's gone left, unfortunately. That's going to go in the rough. Shit. Ah, bollocks. Excuse my French. Damn it, I can't get up in two now. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, keep it, try and keep it on the fairway, but this is not easy.
No, I haven't gone far enough. Get on the fairway, go. No, it's going to stick. It's in the heavy stuff again. Oh, it would have been so nice to finish with a birdie. Well, it's still a, still a chance, but it's not easy. Not sure about this at all, if I'll be honest with you. Nah, it's gone too far. Oh, it stopped really quick. I'm very surprised at that coming out of that rough. But I've got an opportunity here to finish with a birdie. No, oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> Good job there's no lake nearby because my putter would have gone in the lake. Ah, oh, you bloody idiot. Just a par to finish with. God. Oh, never mind. That's a great course, though. Lovely layout. It's got some really challenging holes, lots of undulations, both on the fairways and the greens. But yeah, really, really nice, lovely layout. Well, many congratulations to the course designer, Alan WE54. And the course is called La Quinta Dunas. It's had 210 plays, as you can see there in the bottom right hand corner, and it gets four stars and they're thoroughly deserved. So many congratulations to the designer. You've done a great job with that. I really enjoyed it. I know I didn't play very well, but I really enjoyed the course. I thought it was great. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would really, really appreciate it. Well, take care, everyone, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye now.